Hey everyone, this is Light My Jedi, and I'm actually recording this because I want to show you something I'm working on. I'm making a drawing of the Titanic on Google SketchUp. I'm just showing what I have done so far, which is really not all that much of it. And I've already spent a total of about maybe three hours, I believe, now working on it. Yeah, so this is all I've got. Well, it's not just the battle I have started on. Uh, you see the bow. It's not doing too bad. But the stern, that actually looks... I'd say it's close enough. Oh, I better unhide all. <laughs> yeah, I put the water on. Shoot, just for the heck of it. You know, that's supposedly the water line. Well, actually, not quite the water line. The water line is probably more like uh, up here, maybe, I believe. Let's see. Uh, I've got a pretty good start. And here's the schematics I was using. So. I might actually use the... Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. And get all the uh, windows done. And that's going to be a pain. And I tell you that... Yeah, they've got the hey, at least a good start on the hull. And actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and just do a little bit more in front of you, just you know, so you can see how I'm doing this. I mean, Google SketchUp is actually not that hard for me to use. Oh, what the? What's going on with this? Okay, there we go. That was from all I thought it was just trying to glitch out on me. So I've got uh, you find the uh, endpoints because yes, there's a great many of them. You know, being a cur having curves. So, he's, I'm not, really, sorry, I just don't know what I'm going to, I just don't really have that much to say. It takes quite a bit of fo focus when I'm you know, doing stuff like this. Well, I suppose you can actually see the person on there. Yeah, it's not a bad start. I do have one inconsistency here, but you know, I'll just fix it later. <sighs> right at the end. It's only a minor detail compared to what I'm doing right now. <sighs> Man, I wish I could just explode the curves. You know? And then I could just select each one of those the straight lines. Wait a minute, can I actually do that by the way? I'm gonna check. Why yes I can actually. That's nice to know.
So I guess I'll actually be using that technique. For stuff like this. Okay, I've decided to go ahead and start a little bit on the kill here, or the bottom, I should say. Okay, there's that piece. Yeah, this is a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit awkward down at that particular angle. But as for the hull plates, I don't know if I'll be able to put in that much detail. I think the only real details I'm going to be putting into this are the, all those windows. But. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see if how I feel by the time I get the hull done. Because I might actually incorporate some of the uh, some other people's work into this, but you know, granted, not all that much. I mean, you just incorporate you know the engines. Oh, okay, there. And once I get up to he he oh, this far, I'll probably end the recording. You know, it's the whole thing right there. I just want to show you, you know, the pro how just give you an idea of just how tedious the process is. Because I am doing my best to make this look really good and not super blocky like a lot of the other models I've seen in the Google SketchUp 3D warehouse. I mean, this isn't. It's not like it, this is really all that hard. It's just like, super time-consuming. And also, once I get done with this video, I mean, no, not, not correction, not when I'm done with this video, but you know, when I've gone this, I've gotten to the, to right about here, that's when I'll probably break off. And, you know, I mean, take a break and have dinner and watch Star Wars The Force Awakens. Is I just got that on Blu ray yesterday. And I just, you know, I mean, I saw it in the the, the, the premiere, so we got to see it one day early. Oh, what the? Oh, okay. That had me a little bit concerned there for a moment. And I never know when the program's trying to mess with me. As fun as it is, it also has its annoyances. Oh, come on. Seriously, that's a lot of points it's got. Yeah, I can't believe I kind of messed up there just now. Let's see, like, Okay, good. Place that just right. And at some point, I might actually make a sort of thing of this sinking, so I can actually 
I'm gonna try to make a sort of a short animation of this sinking. You know, have it actually <laughs> listing while it's breaking up even. But I don't know if I'll be able to uh, do that. I mean, that could very well prove beyond my skills with this program, and and you know, I mean, I do know that in theory how I would do it. Yeah, I would get a couple of invisible things and just, I mean, like a couple of invisible planes along that are perpendicular to the ship, and have it start listing a little bit, and start coming down. As for the breakup itself, you know, I might actually. If, 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 well, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but. <laughs> well. The part that's underwater. <laughs> like the shredding stuff? I don't know how to do that. I suppose I to just get. Uh, do the chunks beforehand. But I'll have it in group, so that way I can not have to worry about it. Look, keep the model looking all weird out with white things showing. But that would mean I'd have to do the inside of the ship as well, at least along the break making point. I don't know if I have enough detail, but. I am going to be downloading the the deck plans. Try to get the. Come on. There we go. All right. Connect these. You know, that makes it a little bit easier to reference. I'm not doing the color change so until just before I split it. I mean, and I do the copying this way. I'm doing this. How I'm doing this is I'm doing it, <laughs> one half of it. Then I'm once the, that. All, I've done all the I can with the symmetrical stuff. I'm going to copy it, then flip the copy, and then join them together. And that way I can get perfectly symmetrical. So, I mean, that's one of the things you want to do. You're doing stuff that needs to be symmetrical in real life. And because and otherwise, good luck trying to do it perfectly symmetrical the hard doing it the hard way. And yeah, you can see how i I'm just yeah, but you can see how tedious this is, can't you? Oh, dang it! Missed. Okay, there we go. All right, getting close to there. Man, this ship sure is very detailed. You know, granted, I'm doing this is the most detailed undertaking I think ever of this particular drawing of the Titanic. Okay, there's that. Now for over here. As for the decks, I have an idea. I 
you know, I was going to have them space out so it evenly. And then, you know, I was going to even do the top deck for reference. And then, and do some scaling. That way I can actually have some room on the bottom. So I don't know how effective that is, it will ultimately prove. Oh, whoops. Missed. Okay, getting close. At least, you know, to the part where I, where I wanted to uh, leave off. As I was only giving you an idea of how long, how time consuming this is. Yeah, it's not really all that hard, it's just, you know, it takes a lot of time. Okay. Not bad. Okay, I guess I'll end this off here. So see you all next video. Bye.